Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. I figured I'd show you a little something here. I'm doing a throttle body on my um, 96 LT1 SS Camaro. So I'm going to show you, look, there's an easy way. A lot of people overcomplicate things. Things you don't have to do. You don't have to take unnecessary steps. I'm into doing shit the easiest way I can do it. The quickest way, the most efficient, and the way that works the best for me. So everybody's got a way of doing things. What I do is I disconnect all the sensors first. There's two there. You pull these two hoses, the vacuum ports off. I leave the coolant hoses attached. One, and then there's... Let's see, there's one more right down there. So I leave those attached. So now look, my throttle body is free all except for those two coolant lines. So now I can stuff rags, towels, bags, or whatever there. I protect the Opti, you know what I'm saying? I don't have to worry about that. So this is what I'm doing. Why I'm here doing my 58 millimeter throttle body I'm also going to do the mod because why run coolant through the throttle body it just it's just going to make your temps higher your intake air temperatures higher so I'm going to run no coolant and this hose there's going to be nothing coming out of the other throttle body but it's just going to be plugged off or leave open this hose is going to now go to the other passage um, This hose is going to go to the pipe right there. Both of these passages here and here are going to be left open on the other one. There's going to be no coolant going to the throttle body. It's going to be directly going off there to there, and that is the mod. So, after I pull this and this hose off, I'm going to quickly try to attach this and this and minimize, you know, coolant getting down here. So, I'm going to pull this up. I'm going to put a whole bunch of rags and plastic bags and towels there. I'm going to um, probably take one of these off first. Um, probably this one off first and have it there and put bags over under here. And then take this one off next. And as soon as I take that one off, I might not take it off from the front. I might remove that alternator bracket bar. And just take it off from the other side there right here and I might just push this on from here to right down back in there and be done with that and once that's done then I'm gonna reinstall the throttle body I had one snafu along the way my thing broke here I'm gonna look at another intake I got and see if I can make something work or either I'm gonna have to go pull another plug off something but stuff happens. But this is the before throttle body install.